everyone, so today I'm going to be doing uh, my 3DS and DS collection. So I thought I would show you guys both my handheld consoles and also the games that I've collected over the years. The original DS that I had was one of the very first models, which was the blue, like electric blue one. I actually ended up selling that one, so I kind of regret that now because I'd still love to have the old uh, DS, but I think I was buying the new DS for it, so that's why I ended up selling it. So yeah, I've got a number of different uh, games, so let me know which game was your favourite to play, and let's get started. So the oldest DS console that I have at the moment is my DSi, and it looks like this, and it is fairly old now, as you guys can see, and I have a game in here which I will get to showing you guys the game soon. And then also last Christmas I got my 3DS XL because I wanted to get back into playing Animal Crossing. So I have my Happy Home Designer Special Edition and this is the DS I use most and I also have two keychains on it which is Kotori and uh, Umi from Love Live. So yeah this is what my DS here looks like. And then recently when, when I was actually in Japan I got a Japanese 3DS because the DS is unfortunately region locked so you can only play Japanese games on the Japanese DS and I wanted to start practicing more Japanese so I ended up getting this DS here from a secondhand store and it is the hot pink version. These, this version came out a little bit earlier than the rest of the world so yeah I really like this one and this case is from Sumel. I don't have many games on this yet so if you guys have any recommendations for uh, 3DS games for a Japanese DS please let me know because I'd love to play some more on there. So one of the first games that I ever got for my original DS was Nintendogs and I had so much fun with this game back in the day. Let me know if you guys uh, played this one. I think my favourite one from this set was the Siberian Husky so that was one of my favourite games. So I got Nintendogs. I also had games like The Sims 2 Pets which uh, I think I still prefer the computer game over any of the console games because it's just so much more fun to play. So uh, what else did I have? I had the Tamagotchi Corner Shop. And I really love this game. I still play it till today because it's a lot of fun and I don't know, there's something just addictive about playing these like little mini games. There's like some rhythm games and then fixing people's teeth at dentists and making takoyaki and stuff like that. So I really recommend that game if you're into sort of like older games as well. I also had this game called My Riding Stables because I was really into horses when I was little. So uh, this game was okay as well. Uh, I, know I don't think it was very popular. Overseas, it looks like it was more popular in European countries. So, if you guys ever played this, let me know because I never found another person that played it. Uh, I also had a fashion designer style icon, which is also a really fun game. I really enjoyed this, and it kind of makes me want to get the fashion game. What is it? Style Boutique or something it's called. Uh, but I don't have that for the 3DS yet, but I kind of want to get it. And then, of course, I also had Mario Kart DS, which is an old favorite of mine. I just love all the Mario Kart series, they're kind of great to play. And yeah, these ones. I still go back to playing this as well because this is a lot of fun. So uh, next up, I had a lot of animal theme games. So we have Purpals and I still have like the original price tag and everything on it. So yeah, you looked after like a cat in this one. I don't think I really liked this game as much as the other ones, but it was still fun. <laughs> And then more animal games that I had, I had hamsters, and again I still got the original price tag. So yeah, games are pretty expensive here. But uh, yeah, there's hamsters, and I really like this game, this game was fun. And you had like a claw machine, and you could like pick them up and win prizes, so that was a fun game. I think I might go back to playing that sometime. Some other games that I also had was Cooking Mama, which is the original DS one. And I really love this game as well, I'm sure a lot of you guys have played it. And there's also a new edition for the 3DS, which I'll show you guys soon. But I really enjoyed this game, it was a lot of fun, and just cooking lots of different meals from a lot of different places, like there was a lot of Japanese meals and stuff, which was fun. Uh, I also had the My Sims game, which was, I think it's made by The Sims, like on the computer as well, but this one was made for the DS. This was quite a good game as well, I think I'll definitely go back to playing this soon too. I also had My Secret World by Imagine, which was basically like you had your own diary and could like customize your character and stuff like that, but I don't think I ever played that much, I can't remember. And these are probably like my top three DS games. I mean, I really love Tamagotchi and Mario Kart, so these are the ones that I played the most. So first up was Rhythm Heaven, and I don't have the 3DS version of this yet, but I really want to get it because this is a lot of fun. And let me know if you guys like the new 3DS version, so I'll try and get it as well. Uh, also, I got Pokemon Black, 
And the first Pokemon game that I ever played was Pokemon Yellow, and I had it for my Game Boy Advance. So this was the second Pokemon game that I got. I did have some of the other ones, but I never got into them as much. But I ended up playing Black uh, version a lot, and I really enjoyed this Pokemon game. So this one was quite fun as well, but I haven't gone back to playing this uh, just because I sort of uh, got out of gaming for a while, and now I'm back into it. So I might have to go back to this one and replay it a little bit more. And then finally, it is my favorite, favorite game for the DS. I remember the day that I picked this up from the store. I had saved up money when I was little and I really, really wanted this game because my friend had it. And it is still one of my favorite DS games to this day. And it is, of course, Animal Crossing Wild World. Just everything about this game is great. Just customizing your villager and making friends with the other ones and collecting things and building your house. It's such a relaxing game as well. And it's just amazing. <laughs> so I will maybe do a town tour of my old town in this on like I never really got into customizing it much because uh, I didn't really ever like go on the internet and see what people were doing with their houses up at that time but I really love this game and it is super cute I love the artwork for it as well so if you guys are an Animal Crossing fan let me know who your favorite character was from Wild World so now moving on to the 3DS games that I've got. Uh, I don't have as many as my DS, but there are a lot of games on my wish list that I want to get. I really want to start getting more Mario games and also some other ones, but I just haven't gotten around to picking them up yet. So uh, first off, my 3DS Happy Home Designer, I came with the Happy Home Designer installed. So I also got that one, which was on this here. And then my DS also came with another game, which was this Marvel superhero uh, universe in peril. So I've actually never played this. So if you guys think it's good, then let me know, or I might like sell it or give it away because I've never played it. But yeah, you know what type of game it is. And for the next games that I got from my DS, I also got Mario Kart 7 because again, I love Mario Kart. I used to have Mario Kart on the Wii as well, and I can't wait to see it on the Nintendo Switch. I'm so excited to see that. That's probably the, my most wanted game for the Nintendo Switch so far, uh, besides Zelda. Uh, so next up, the next game that I got, I think was... Oh yes, of course, it was Animal Crossing. <laughs> so I think these were the three games that I bought with my DS when I bought it. And of course, New Leaf is my favourite game by far. I just love the upgrade to the graphics from Wild World. I love all the new things you can do. And I'm really, really hoping that the Nintendo Switch gets an Animal Crossing game. But I'm not sure whether it's going to happen or not because we do have that app coming out later in the year. Which apparently was pushed back a couple of months. So hopefully we'll get some news of that soon. So yes, I really love Animal Crossing and I am planning to do a town tour. Hopefully I'll be able to do one really soon. I also have Animal Crossing but I have it in the Japanese version. Which is a game that I bought with my DS in Japan. So I might do a town tour of this one as well because I haven't worked much on this town. But uh, I might do a, like an unfinished town tour and then a finished town tour on my other DS here. So keep an eye out for those on my channel. Or I might do an Instagram live of them. It depends. Let me know what you guys would like to see and I'll try to do them. I also have the updated Cooking Mama Bon Appetit, which is from the 3DS. This was really cheap. It was like $10 or $15. So I don't think it was selling very well. So yeah, one of my stores had it on sale. So I got that one. I also got... Hometown Story, which I haven't gotten to play a lot of it yet either. Uh, they were actually uh, discontinuing this game, so I picked it up before they could sell out completely and it was on sale. So this is um, from Harvest Moon as well. I really want to play more of the Harvest Moon games because they look like I like them because I really like Animal Crossing. So if you have any recommendations for uh, Harvest Moon games, because I know there's so many to choose from, please let me know your favourite and then I'll try and pick out some good ones. I also got Fantasy Life, which again is a game I haven't put much time into. I need to sit back and just play this game because it looks like it's going to be a lot of fun. I love the uh, different characters you can play and I love that you can have a different life and you can play it like heaps and heaps of times because there's just so many different options for you to choose from. So yes, this is another game that I need to get back into playing. I also picked up Yokai Watch, which is this one here, and I found this at a game store, which was pre-owned. And the funny thing about this was, uh, when I started to play it, the game store hadn't wiped the save files, so it had like old save files of um, the guys that used to own this, so I thought that was quite funny. So yes, I have this one as well, which again, I need to catch up on. I found this game quite difficult at first because I didn't really know how the controls work, but now I'm finding it a little bit easier. And I really want to get Yokai Watch 2 as well. I think it's... Uh, What's it called? I'm not sure, like, Bony Spirits? But yeah, there's two versions of it, and I know it just came out in Europe, or it's coming out in Europe sometime, but I think Australia got it first, which was quite surprising, because <laughs> normally we're really behind on game releases. 
I also have Disney uh, Magical World, which I have the case for, but it's not here at the moment, so I just kept it in this container here. And yeah, I got this one on sale as well, so that was a good game. And now moving on to my Pokemon games, I got Pokemon X, which I really love the concept of this game and the art style and everything. But the thing is, this game actually makes me motion sick, so I can't play it for more than like 20 or 30 minutes before I begin to feel really ill. So that's it's such a shame because I really wanted to play a lot more of it. But yeah, I can't because it just, I don't know what it is. I think it's the moving around the character's movement on like the rollerblades, which makes me kind of a bit sick. But I really, really liked it up from what I did play. <laughs> uh, also, the Pokemon game that I got was, of course, Pokemon Sun. And if you guys have been following me on Instagram and Twitter, I basically just like spam so much Pokemon Sun stuff because it was an amazing game. So for this game, I'm finished the main uh, portion of the game, but I still have the after story to complete. And I also want to complete my Pokedex, so I hope I can do that soon. But yes, I really love this game. I chose... Uh, who did I choose first? I chose Poplio, and then I ended up uh, breeding like Litten and Rowlet. So I have all three starters, um, their final evolution. So if you guys want to see my Pokedex or anything, let me know, and I might do a video on that soon as well. And then also for Christmas, if you guys saw my Christmas haul, I got a new 3DS game, which is Pokemon Alpha Sapphire. So I really wanted to play this one because I had X and then Sun and now I wanted to play this one. And luckily this one doesn't make me motion sick so far, so I'm really happy about that. So here are all my 3DS and DS games. Let me know in the comments which one was your favourite and if you played any of the same games as me. Also, if you have any recommendations for games to buy, please let me know as well because I really want to get back into playing some other different types of games and stuff like that too. And also let me know if you guys are going to order the Nintendo Switch. I haven't ordered it yet because it's around $470 here in Australia, so it's quite expensive. So I might have to wait a little while and wait till um, some like bundle deals come out with games that I really, really want. So I hope you guys enjoyed watching today and I'll see you guys next time. Bye!